Hello everyone and happy Halloween. It's me, Halloween Alessandro the Crypto. I hope you're doing all fine and are ready for this uh, episode because Bitcoin currently is breaking out out of this uh, triangle that we were in since uh, yesterday. And as you can see, we have this nice breakout that could potentially take us towards this $14,200 top that we still didn't reach so far. So since the CMEs has closed a very bullish candle yesterday, we closed the daily, the weekly and the monthly time frame above $13,000 and that was the target to be reached for this monthly close. So the good thing is that currently we had this bullish close in the CMEs and therefore we are expecting continuation also here in the spot chart at least for the weekend. But be careful trading on the weekend because on the weekend we very often see fake outs. So very often we see like a pump and dump scenario. So I think it is still very likely that we could reach 14,200. But if we are able to push higher, that of course is the big question. Because once we are able to break $14,000, Bitcoin will have a big run up at least towards sixteen dollars to $18,000, potentially even to test the all time high of $20,000. But before that, we need to break this important resistance up here. And so far, we didn't come up to test it. So it is very likely that we will see the price moving towards this direction during the weekend. But be careful, most of the times, weekend action is not very significant and most of the times we retrace on Monday back to where the CM is also closed and in this case we closed at $13,800 so keep this price level in mind wherever we are going during the weekend. So in the four hour time frame currently we are trading above all the moving averages and you can see that also the 9 and 20 moving average are right here at our previous resistance which now should be new support here at around $13,500. So as long as we are closing four hour candles above this price, in theory, we should be heading towards our target here of $14,200. Also, we bound successfully from the 50 level in the RSI and right now we still have a lot of room left to the upside. So that's why I think it is very likely that we could reach this $14,200 maybe within this weekend. And also if you have a look into the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we're trading in the upper area and we're fighting with the top. So if we are able to push higher here, then we should be seeing 14K the next couple of hours. Also the good thing is that currently we have MACD and KSD shifting bullish, only stochastic currently is overbought, which could indicate that we are topping out and we could see a possible retracement again towards 13,500 to test this area again. But since we have now the MACD and KSD looking so bullish, I think if we are able to reach 14,200, it should happen in the next couple of hours. And if we open up the daily time frame here, also you can see that currently we are far away from all the moving averages, especially here the 20 daily is right at $12,500. So I think even though there is a high chance that we could reach $14,200, there is still a high chance that we could see also another pullback towards the 20 daily moving average before we are able to break this important resistance up here at $14,200. Also the daily RSI is looking a bit toppy here. That's why I think a pullback is still in the cards. But as long as we're trading within this range with the support currently of around $11,100 and the resistance of $14,200, we should remain within this channel before we're going to see the next big move of Bitcoin. And also if you have a look into the Bollinger Band in the daily, you can see that currently we are trading above the nine day moving average. And as long as we are maintaining this moving average, we shouldn't see a correction down to the midline here of $12,500. So also here we still have some room left to the upside. And in that case, my target would be here to reach the top right at $14,300. We also have KSD and MACD shifted to the upside. Even stochastic is looking good. So $14,000 could be reached within this weekend. Latest next week in my opinion and also if we have a look into the weekly time frame you can see that currently we're trading above all the moving averages only the RSI same like in the daily is looking a bit toppy here so a pullback is at any time possible but if we're gonna reach first 14,000 this is the big question and of course also we're gonna have to see what will happen once we are reaching this important key level because once $14,200 is broken be prepared to see a big fast move to the upside which could take us a couple of thousands of 
dollars to the upside very fast and also if we have a look into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we are still overshooting it to the upside we have all the indicators bullish but since the bigger time frames like the daily and weekly are looking right now a bit toppy I'm expecting any kind of pullbacks down towards 12,500 to 11,100 dollar at any time also because we had the DXY breaking out from this falling wedge last week and that's why I think the DXY has now the chance to push a bit higher here before maybe getting rejected and that could lead into a bigger pullback also in the Bitcoin price eventually. So just be prepared in case that you see a pullback to buy the dip because Bitcoin is looking very bullish for the long term. If we have a look here into the monthly time frame you can see that Bitcoin had a very bullish close and also we're gonna have to see how we're gonna close in the spot market the monthly candle because so far we are taking out this high that we created in June 2019 and that of course is very bullish if you're able to close this candle above this price level and you should try to buy every dip because when you zoom out here in the bigger time frames you can clearly see that Bitcoin is gearing up here for another big parabolic move to the upside we confirmed right now this higher low and also potentially here a higher high and that is what is needed here for the next big bull run so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now enjoy your halloween go out do some trick or treats and also make sure to join my discord and also twitch channel you find the link down below here in the video description because later today we will do a special halloween live stream over on twitch so make sure to join also my twitch channel and my discord trading chat where you can also get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals so happy halloween my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye